G'day all, welcome back to Dad vs. Son, our playthrough of the complete campaign for Fortress Europa from Compass Games. And we're about to go on with the last turn in August, uh, so turn 12 effectively. And I've just gone back and did a uh, recount on the supply capacity and we're at two at the moment. Righto, so let's bring the camera over, have a bit of a look first before we do anything. So we've got uh, some British forces that I'm hoping to boot off this time um, and then move back up to uh, England to bring them in. Um, we've got the French and the Americans here that are going to try and take out the uh, the rest of the southern France and northern Italy area. We've got our other British forces under Montgomery at the moment coming across towards the West Wall. We have the Canadians just outside of Paris with the Poles in here as well. Um, and we've got the Americans that are still bashing away at Cherbourg. Um, we've taken La Havre. That actually goes over to a three now, which actually gives us one more point. So we've actually got three. Um, and then we've had the breakout forces by Patton coming around through Amiens and all the rest of it. And like I said, with these forces, I, I really need to uh, come up and probably attack these from this end, from the east rather than from the west, and bring them back. Otherwise, I'm, I'm really hitting almost like a one-to-one -one into there, which isn't all that flash. So that's where we stand. Righto. So... We've moved the turn marker. Next thing, as usual, is weather. We're still in August. We get a two, so we still have clear weather, which is absolutely wonderful. And we go into the air allocation phase. So again, I'll pause it there. Um, oh, in fact, I'm not going to pause it because we have no German air this time anyway. So let's just work out what we want to do here. So we still need to cover off on the V1 site so we get our British um, replacements. We don't have to worry about anything there. I'm going to put two sack against German replacements so they get no replacements. Um, <laughs> What else do I want to do? We're going to need lots of ground support. So we'll put all the American tack onto there. Um, Bridge-wise. Yeah, let's make life a little bit more difficult for them. We're going to put one bridge attack in. And these will all come into ground support as well. So they'll give us six for ground support. And that leaves us one little sacky to go. Um, who knows? Uh, I will put it on a, a railway attack. I suppose. Not that they're going to be moving too much by rail, but anyway, so... That's what we have there. 
Right, so the bridge attack I want to do is going to simply be on the Rhine. I don't want these forces coming over um, too much because I want to get up in there and try and take some of that out. So that's our air allocation phase done and we go into the replacement phase. So the Americans in August get three replacements. Uh, so they'll take uh, two infantry, taking them up to six. And one tank, taking them up to five. Uh, the Brits get two. Um, so I'm actually going, yeah, I'll take one of each again. So they have eight for armor and seven for infantry. Righto. Uh, we also get this turn the 95th Infantry Division, which I'm going to bring on in La Havre, which cuts my supply capacity down one but I also have to remove the 59th British Infantry Division so there's no change and we're still on three. I'll just put him up there. Okay um, losses wise for the Americans we're going to Upgrade the 4th Panzer, not oh, Panzer, 4th Armoured Division. So it can't move. And there's another point I forgot right there for Dieppe. And that's why, like I said, I've got them. Oh, and then there's another one there for Khan. So this is why I keep missing them. So that's another two that we've got actually taking us to five, which is a lot better. A lot better. Okay, so that's one armour. Um, I don't think these guys need anything. No. Um, there's no other armour there. So... That's one armor, so they're down to four armor. Now, infantry wise, we have the ninth and the 80th here that we're going to do. So that's two infantry replacements there. And we have the 79th as well. That's three infantry replacements. These are all good. We'll do the 29th. So that's four infantry replacements. And that's it. Okay, so four infantry replacements for the Americans, which leaves them with two. Righto. So the Brits, we don't need to do anything down here. We can't do the poles. Um, and no, they're all fine. So I'm going to bring back the 79th Armoured Division. That's going to cost me three. Armour taking me down to five. Um, and I can't do anything else. Which is good in its own way, but uh, yeah. So that's our replacements done. So we go into the partisans. 
And we have some partisans this time. Where are we going to put them? Na, 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 na. Let's put them in Liège. Liège. Up there. Oh, no, we can't. We've got SS there. Whoop. And, and that's in Belgium as well, so we can't really do that, can we? Um, oh, that's okay. We'll just chuck them in here. There's our partisans. Rightio. And we go into the first move, Impulse. So we have five supply capacity. Um, there's really not much to bring on, though. Again, like I said, they're all sort of uh, minor units. Um, I think what we will do is we're going to bring on Bradley for one. Um, and he's going to come in at uh, La Havre, which is good. Um, and what else do we want? What else do we want? I don't think we have really much to do. Uh, we'll bring on a couple of the uh, mechanized infantry, well, the, the, sorry, the armored cav units. Let's bring on the second and third. They're coming in on the southern mulberry. Do, do, do. Um, in fact, we'll bring on the fourth as well. So that's four total in on the mulberry. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, three total on the mulberry plus um, Bradley. So that's four which leaves us with a supply capacity of one. Right, so movement. Let's start here and have a look. Okay, so we've got San Quentin here. Uh, so they've got seven and four is 11 and four more because they're in a town is 15 and two is 17. And we have 7, 13, 19 there. So we can get a 2 to 1 at least in there like that. Okay. So these... Uh, uh, the armoured unit is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to there. These two units will go 1, two, three, four, into there. This guy will go one, two, three, four, five, into there. And these two will go one, two, in fact, one, two, into there. With the second, one, two, three, Four to there. Bradley's got to stay. The 95th is going to go one, two, three, four, and we destroy another V1 site. Uh, no, we don't. Whoa! No, 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 don't do that. It's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Because I don't want to. Oh, I can't. That's okay. There's no attack across there. So, yeah. I thought I was doing the right thing. Then I talked myself out of it. Okay. 
Um, he's there. We've got these three here. That will go one, two. Hodges stays behind. This guy goes one, one, and one. Um, and these two here will go one, two, three, four to there. And that's all the Americans. The Canadians are going to come down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four. And four. And he stays there at the moment. Um, right. Then we can come down to here. Uh, now Monty's going to move one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he's going to move to there. So these fellas are going to go one, two. Three. What have we got here? Sorry. We've got five. And now hang on. Whoop. That's just a fortress. Um Fortress. Hello. Fortress. Defender double, but that's not for armor. So we have five. And six more is 11, 12, 13. And we've got eight, 14, 21 there. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to yet. We're just going to go one, two, three into there. So. That's now like that. And this guy goes one, two, three, four into there. Montgomery will follow up. Right. Oh, de -do -de. Okay, down here. Yep, you can see everything. Okay. Um, so these guys are in here for seven is 14. Um, so these guys are here for 15. So they're going to come up one. He's going to come up one. These two are going to come across one. And these three here can move seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's leave them there and these three will go one two three four five six seven to there like that and patch will follow up um the 49th 51st are going to go one two along with the third and the 43rd and one, two, three, four. Dempsey's going to follow him in the second one. So I'm just going to take them all off now. And they're going into the reinforcements in Africa box. And then next turn, they'll move to England box. And then they can come over after that. Right. <coughs> Which leaves the French here. So I think I need to take out this guy first. Now they're going to be double in defense. So they have three, six, seven, which is 14. They're doubled in defense because they can't get across the river to take them out. Um, or I come down here and take this guy out. 
and then I can get somebody across the river, which might be a better bet. So he's there for eight. So if we go six, um, one, two, three is 11. One, two, three is 16. That's a two to one straight up. Um, I'm going to bring this guy down one, two. And this guy can't really move. Well, if I bring him over to here like that, then they're ready to punch through and either go this way or this way. Okie dokie. So that's our movement done. And we go into our first combat impulse. So I'll pause it there, work out the odds, mark them out, and we'll come on back. Rightio. So we have um, four combats to do. Um, we're using all the naval forces to bring this one up to a three to one. So we'll do it first. <laughs> uh, attack a retreat. So these guys will just come back to here. Well, that was pretty useless, wasn't it? Okay, that's done. We're using one, uh, sorry, two air in here to bring this to three to one. For a six, that's better. And that's a DE. So both of these units are gone. Okay, so the 157th Mountain. Uh, he actually started out as the 157th uh, Training in B, 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 B. Oh, where are ya? G's, P's, B, Grenoble, yes. And the 189th Infantry was a really free setup unit. Okay, so those go away. Um, the Navy goes away, and those go away, and then we move up north. So we'll do Cherbourg next, and it's at a four to one, utilizing three tack air for a three, which is a DR. And again, they're in a fortress so they don't have to retreat. So absolutely nothing happens there as well. Yeah. Okay, and we get rid of those air units, which leaves us over into here now um, with a three to one, using one air, and we get a six again, which is a DE, which takes out the Venereal Disease Headquarters, uh, the 2nd, 6th Regiment of Paras, the 9th SS, and the 116th, all gone. 116th Panzers. And Hairy Plane is gone. Okay, so 116th is a 15 unit. And we can go back up there. The 9th SS was an invasion reaction. The VB headquarters was a free setup, and the 216th Para was a <coughs> excuse me, a free setup as well. Right-ho, so um, 
we took out two, we retreated from one, and we had a Mexican standoff again in Cherbourg. So we go into the Allied second move impulse. Um, now, if I leave, I can't move these guys. So again, this is going to go down to a one-to-one -one again. It's just a pain. Um, righto. So what do we want to do here? Um, let's come up and hit Lil for 10. Okay. So this guy can go three. We'll go one, two, three. Uh, and this guy can go three, so he can go, yeah, one, two, doesn't matter. And this guy will go one, two, and one, two. And this guy can move three, and we'll go one, two, three, and him as well, one, two, three, and he goes one, two, three he can just go there Patton can come forward um one two three four five into there um i don't want to put him there at the moment these guys can come forward two so they'll go one two bradley can come forward four one two three four can't move, can't move, can't move. Uh, Hodges. Oh, he knows to come forward. It's not going to make any difference. Um, and that's good. I didn't move the poles last time, did I? Um, anyway, Clara goes one, two, three, four to there. The poles can go three. Uh, 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 uh. We'll go one, two, three to there. This little fella will just go one, two, three to there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's good. Okay, down this way. We'll move Monty first. So he goes one, two, three, four, five. Has to stop there, and he goes to there, and these guys can go three. So they're going to go a one, a two. No, they're not. They're going to stay there for the time being. Okay, which brings us to here. Rightio, so Patch can go four. So he's going to go one, two, three, four to there. Now, in here, we've got three, six, seven. These blokes can go two. So that'd be 14. So we'd end up with a one to one again. I don't really want that. Okay, um, uh, uh, uh. okay, these guys will go one to there, and these guys will go one to there, like that. Now, La Frenchies. Again, it's just going to be a two to one. But we need to do it. So we're just going to go over to there with our 16 to their eight. Uh, Deleter can come up there. Um, this fella can stay there. In fact, Delatera and all these will come down to here. 
something like that. Okay, so we've got just the uh, two, three attacks. So this one's a two to one, so let's just do that. Two to one for a four is an exchange. So this guy is reduced and we will reduce our five four here like that. Right, then we can come up here. Um, so up here we have a one to one again. for a four, which is an E2. Okay, so let's have a look. This is a five, four unit, so he'll do. And six, four unit. So I think they're all six fours. Yeah, okay, so that's our two units down. Um, he has to take a step loss. He's better off taking it on the SS. Like that. Um, and yeah, they don't have to retreat as usual. So doesn't matter. Which leaves one final attack over here. Uh, so this guy's here for 10 and we have 6, 12, 19, 20, 28, 32, uh, sorry, 36, 42, so 4 to 1. Wow. 4 to 1 for a 2 is an exchange. So he's gone. 15, is there a single unit? Uh, they think, yeah. Um, and we lose one. Uh, we'll put it on this 6-4 infantry. No, we won't. Eight six eight six six four. Um, I'm just looking, and we've got. We're going to need all our infantry, so it'll be on the seven six armor. In fact, because I can actually afford that a little bit better. Okay, so we've cleared that guy out of Lil, which is wonderful. In that, um, it allows me to start coming up and. This will probably have to be the next guy in Gand. But I've got to get some other troops over there first to block these from doing anything silly. Um, right. So that's our second move, our second combat, our rail. So... Uh, so that's now blocked there. Um, this is now blocked here anyway. I'll just move him on like that. Uh, this one's now blocked down here. So these ones don't matter anymore. Um, and we've got it blocked over. A bar. So we've got the rail blocked here, 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 and here. Um, so yeah, is done. And then it's our supply phase. Okay, so. All of these are under Montgomery. All of these are under Cradar, Pattons, Bradleys, 
Hodges. Down this way. Patch. Delatere. And that's it. So, uh, all good. Uh, we didn't lose any units or anything else. Um, but we're not going to be able to bring anything on either at the moment. We've only got one in unit. Uh, one, uh, sorry, uh, the supply capacity of one at the moment. Um, ah, I didn't give me back. Didn't give me back my supply capacity for Dempsey and his troops. So that's five more. That's what it was. So I've got a supply capacity of six. <sighs> now I feel better. Okay. So that's it for the Allies. Um, so we might just roll straight in with the uh, Germans. So the German replacement phase, they get no replacements again this turn um, because we took them out. Um, they have no reinforcements this turn either. Uh, but they do have uh, one general coming back, Manu Tufu. So he's going to come on up into, I think we'll just place him in Dusseldorf and he's happy in there. Righto, so that's their replacement phase. Done. Uh, first move. So, um, realistically, probably move this guy out of here and bring these guys up. And that's going to stop the French just punching through there. Um, and if we move this guy, one, two to there. In fact, if we move him there, then they'd have to attack him if they come into here as well, won't they? So that would actually be the best place to put him. We leave our leader in Marseille. And we bring this guy up one. He's got to stay there. And we bring this guy up one as well. Now that's going to put seven there which is 14 straight up, like that. Uh, now, if I do that, though, they've got to attack, don't they? <gasps> let me think about that. This is where it becomes painful, because they're going to let them get over there, so this bloke's got to go to there. I can't afford to attack. They're just going to have to stand. Um, yeah. Bugger. Yep, that's it. Um, they're holding the Americans back. If I bring them down, again, they've only got three, six, seven, so they don't really want to attack any bastard either. Um, so no, that's about the best I can do at the moment. Sugar. Okay, so that's that. Uh, nothing we can do up in Cherbourg. They don't have to attack. They're in a fortress, so that doesn't matter. Over this way, we don't have anything to punch out and have a go at them. The rail line's blocked here. So if we wanted to move anybody up to uh, Brandenburger and the 89th in Metz, um, we'd have to bring them basically in from here, from Sarsbrook. And uh, 
Um, want to do that at the moment. Okay, what else can I do? I think I've got to. Okay, 59th will come forward to there. Okay. Um, this little fella, they're going to try a run around. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. So they'll actually, no, they can't go six. I have to go to there. What else can I bring up in support with them? <sighs> Nothing really. Okay. So that's all the German movement. Done. Uh, so we go into their first combat impulse. There's nothing to the south. There's nothing over here. They don't have to do anything in Cherbourg. The second movement impulse. Um, so these two guys will go one, two, three. No, they'll just go two, one, two, three, four, five to there. Why am I doing that? They go yeah, I go to there. Um there's nothing else we can really move. No. Second combat combat impulse. There's nothing. Rail control phase. Um, yeah. There's um, effectively nothing to change there. German supply phase. Uh, they're fine to the south. Everybody again is in the walls. Uh, this guy's within range of Brandenburger. These are all fine. So no hassles there. And we go into the end of turn segment and remove all these can't moves. Like that. And that's the end of turn 12, the last turn in August. Um, yeah, so what have we got? September, October, November, December, January, February, and the first turn in March at least. Okay, look, the, again, the, the Allies have pushed through. They've done well there. We've got these holdouts down in the Mediterranean field. Uh, that's fine. Cherbourg is just going to be a slugging match for ages. Um, what am I going to pick up? Nothing overly fantastic. Um, I'm just going to have to keep bashing away at it at sort of a, a four to one is about the best I can sort of do um, at the moment. If I can get it up to a a five to one then will be better, but uh, we'll just have to keep playing that. Um, knocking these out slowly but surely, getting there. Um, it's again just beating our way into the uh, the enemy and then being able to rip them up um, is the hard part. 
Um, I want to try and get uh, Dempsey and his people on next turn and get them moving as well. Um, I don't have another British general to bring on. We only have the two. So uh, once I can get them on, then they can start coming down through this way as well. Um, and try and punch up through this way um, is going to probably be the best. So if we can isolate sort of uh, Mets, I'm not too worried about taking it out overly, but if we can keep it sort of isolated, then the Brits can come straight up through, take out um, Saarbrücken and start to move into Greater Germany and take out their towns and cities um, one bit at a time. So that's the cunning plan and I will see you next time for Lucky Turn 13. So uh, take care. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.